Okay, so we are pushing through for one more episode of Soap because I want to see Corinne's baby. They didn't show it in the last episode, so I'm thinking they got to show it in this one or I'm going to be disappointed. I don't know. Um, I'm trying not to stimulate my insides anymore, so my caffeine for this episode is some soda. I poured me some Dr. Pepper. I've got my friend, and I'm ready to see this baby. <laughs> This episode better show it. In the last episode of Soap, Jessica believes that Chester is dead, but he is not. And banging his head, he's now remembered he's Chester Tate and is on his way home if it's not too late. At home, of course, Donahue and Jess have fallen in love, as you probably guessed. Mary told Bert what Sally said. He said she lied. Mary said drop dead. Corinne gave birth to a baby boy, but Tim in a cave couldn't share the joy. Very confused? You feel like a dope? You won't if you stay tuned for So. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. These are the Tates. Sorry. And these are the Campbells. And this is... I'm trying to save my battery a little bit because it is dying. And I forgot I had it turned up, my brightness up, when Jody was on the bridge. And it was real dark. I don't think that affects it on y'all's end at all, though. I think it's going to stay the same brightness. Holy shit, it's dark again. Turn on the light. <laughs> the baby's crying. Are we going to see it? I'm gonna have to turn the brightness up again just to be able to see the baby. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Go back to bed, Corinne. I'll do it. No, I'll do Why it. Why doesn't she breastfeed? Shh, if I argue with you, I'll wake up. Go to bed. Oh, God, I'm waking up. <laughs> Go to sleep, Corinne. Where's the door? This is it. <laughs> Wonderful. Every four hours that baby wakes up to eat. And every four hours when that baby wakes up to eat, it wakes me up and I eat too. By the time he sleeps through the night, I weigh 400 pounds. What kind of men are they drafting these days? Listen to him. We're all homesick. But do you hear us carrying on like that? Hi, Betsy. Hi, Mary. Did the baby wake you up, too? No. All of you woke me up. The baby don't bother me at all. It's the rest of you. Now, I made up a schedule. You got this feeding. Corinne's got the 7 o'clock. Eunice has got the 11 o'clock, and so on, and so on, and so on. That way, you all can stop arguing about it and not wake me up. <laughs> Benson, I, uh, I noticed that your name isn't on this list. Don't you want to take a feeding? No, thanks. I never eat this late at night. <laughs> <laughs> he is a butler, not a wet nurse. Hi, Mary. Hi. What in the world are you doing up this late? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. What is Jessica up. wearing? How was your date? Very nice. Oh, <laughs> tell me everything that happened. Jacket is I went beautiful. to his apartment. Yes. And he cooked dinner. Yeah. And we ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then? And then? Well, we had to search. Jesse, get to the good part. <laughs> this is the good part. <laughs> Didn't you go to bed with him? No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> oh, Jess. <laughs> Gee, you sound more disappointed than he did. <laughs> I thought you liked him. I do, I do, and I wanted to. I mean, I really did. But then when it came time to... to I couldn't, I mean, I, I just couldn't be unfaithful to Chester. Jesse, Chester is dead. And even when he was alive, he was no saint. <laughs> it was me I 
and jump in the chance. I can't wait to have an affair. Mary, Bert is still alive. What difference does that make? We're finished. The man has slept in more beds than Washington. <laughs> I want an affair. I want a beautiful storybook romantic, never to be forgotten affair. And if I can't have that, I'll settle for a one night stand. <laughs> I had an affair once. I know. I don't think I like them. Why? Well, I don't know. There's something really nice about being with one person all your life. I mean, you don't have to explain your scars to them. <laughs> and you don't have to keep your chin all up all the time, you know, so it doesn't double. <laughs> and you don't have to lie in the one position where nothing sags. <laughs> Mary, try making love propped up on one elbow with your hand behind your head. Oh, my God, you're right. And in the morning, to be seen in the morning. I mean, Bert's used to me, but a strange man? Oh, he'd take one look at me and leave the bed in a rocket. Well, an affair is one thing, but love is something else. I've even scared myself in the morning. <laughs> Detective Donahue loves me. You know, Mary, I don't think that he would care what I look like. I could have an affair only if the man was blindfolded. <laughs> Detective Donahue thinks I'm wonderful. And because he loves me, I'm the most beautiful thing that ever lived. <laughs> oh, Jesse, do you realize that because of the way I look in the morning, I can never have an affair? <laughs> I can kill Bert. <laughs> Mary, I'm going to have an affair with Detective Donahue. Mary is equally as pretty as Jessica, so... Silly, I have to get some sleep. I want to look my best. I, I don't know what all this blind, is. But there's a limit. They're both very attractive ladies. <laughs> Jessica has just has a bit more style in her wardrobe. United Parcel! <laughs> I lied, it's me. You tell my wife I've been in more motels than the Gideon Bible, and I lied. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Sit down, Sally. You're going to kill me. My God, he's going to kill me. I order. Oh, Bert, please. I had to do it. I had to. Don't, don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Oh, wow. Who's who I'm shooting? Help. Help. He's going to kill me. Help. This is New York. Who's going to come? Help. 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 Sally. 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 Hello. No, I'm not here to kill you. Please, would you shut up and sit down? You're not going to kill me? No. You swear? I swear to you. Sit down. I'm here. I'm here to find out why you did what you did, why you told Mary the things you told her. I can't tell you. You can't tell me? No. I spent one drunk night here that I don't even remember. And you told my wife I've been sleeping with you, a pom-pom girl and Grandma Moses, and you can't tell me why? That's right. Killing's looking like a great idea. Hey, if it's any help, the reason you can't remember what you did the night you were here is because you didn't do anything. I didn't do anything? That's right. You mean I admitted something awful to Mary that I never even did? I'm sorry. We didn't? You couldn't. I couldn't, so we didn't? I'm not saying we wouldn't, but you couldn't, so we didn't. You're too drunk. But you would have if I could have. Of course. But we didn't. We didn't. Oh, God, you gotta tell Mary. You gotta come with me. She's not gonna believe you. I can't. You. I gotta get out of town. Oh, my God. Bert, quick, hide. Like, who am I hiding? Get in the closet. Why am I hiding? I can't tell you, oh, please. Fine. I'm not hiding. <laughs> I'm being blackmailed. And so? So if you think things have been bad for you up until now, if you're seeing me, they're going to get much worse. So I'm going to hide. <laughs> Somewhere. The 
Listen, I did what you asked. Now just give me the film. The Campbells are apart. Yes. And they are miserable. Yes. Destroyed. They're miserable. You said you wanted them miserable. I want them destroyed. I was hoping this bitch was gone. But now Sally's motives make a lot more fucking sense. They're destroyed. It's hard to tell. They're so miserable you can hardly even see a facial expression. <laughs> This is yours to begin. This is yours to practice. I will fight out both those sisters for taking my Corinne from me. You haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I'm sure we haven't. Could I please just you have... Know, I sort of hate to give it up. <laughs> it's so original. <laughs> Tell me, where in the world did you find all those midgets? <laughs> The magic of celluloid. Here. Love the hot top sequence. I'm surprised you didn't drown. <laughs> I don't believe it. She's back. I just don't believe that. I'm so sorry. Oh, Sally, come on. It's all right. Don't cry now. It's over. It's all over. What I did to you is so horrible. All right. Your brother was sick. I mean, he was really sick. And he needed money. So I did this. I'm so ashamed. Oh, Sally, what a sh shame. Don't be a judge. Come on, what you did for your brother and your family here was, was a wonderful thing. I think you're a very brave lady. I'm rotten. I'm ashamed. Sally, come on. Don't talk like that. <laughs> How can I ever face you again? <laughs> Forgive me. It's okay. It's just having this. Having this. Boy, are you limber? <laughs> I'm gonna go far away. I'll never hurt you again. Oh, God, forgive me. Oh, Sally, don't worry. He will, and, and, and Mary will, and I do already. So you see, everything's okay. Come on, everything's fine. You're so good. Come on. God bless you, Bert. Like her. Come in, Danny. <laughs> how are you? I'll tell you how I am. I'm exhausted. I haven't slept in days. Now, Jody, we gotta get Mom and Bert back together again. Bert is going crazy. He comes in my room in the middle of the night and he shakes my mattress until I fall out of bed and then he says, oh, 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 You couldn't sleep either, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He sits there until the sun comes up asking me what's it all about. Well, I'm so exhausted. Even if I knew what it was all about, I couldn't tell him. No, we got to get him back together again. So you can sleep? <laughs> no, Danny. No, no, not so I can sleep. But they love each other. They should be together. And I believe Bert. I think he's telling the truth. But Mom won't listen to him. Talk to her, Jody. She listens to you. She takes your advice. Yeah, I'm decorating. <laughs> clean top. Excuse me, I didn't know you had company. Hello. How do you do? It's nice meeting you. Bye. <laughs> That's Alice. She lives here. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Danny. You son of a gun, you. Uh, I knew if I took you to enough hockey games, you'd see the light. <laughs> you dance. Son of a gun. She's pretty. She's sexy. She's gay. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you almost had me going there for a minute. <laughs> hey, listen. I hope I'm not getting out of line or anything, but I just want you to know that I'm not trying to take Jody away from you. <laughs> Thank you, 
Alice. Uh, we share the place, but we both lead our own lives, and you two can have all the privacy you want. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Aren't you his date? <laughs> Date? I mean, why not? You're gorgeous. <laughs> His date? Uh, Alice, uh, this is Danny, my brother. His brother? His brother. <laughs> so embarrassed. I'm sorry, Danny. Brother. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Go make sandwiches. <laughs> She's cute. How could she be gay? What do you mean? What's well, as simple as a nose on your face? She's a girl. <laughs> so? So, Jody, boys are gay. Boys, not girls. Is that so? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If girls were gay and boys were gay, they'd cancel each other out. <laughs> Brendo? Sure. Why not? No. She really is gay. Really gay. Gay woman. Oh, boy. Just when you think you knew it all. <laughs> A gay woman. No, sit. The sandwiches are coming. Uh, I gotta go. What do you mean? I just made a lot of sandwiches. No, uh, I, I can't stay. I'm, I'm tracking down some kidnappers. On an empty stomach? I never heard of such a thing. <laughs> You're still going after them? Yeah. I got a new lead. Danny, why don't you just forget it? They killed my wife. You expect me to forget that? I don't, but going after them is foolish, because if you find them and kill them, you'll be in trouble, and if not, they'll kill you. I'm gonna find them. They're pros, Danny. They'll get you. I know it. And if they do, I'll... What? I'll... get them. <laughs> hey, I'm as big a jerk as you are. Be careful. Huh? I will. <laughs> some for you. Chasing kidnappers can make you hungry. Thanks, Alex. And when you get back, I'm going to make you a nice meal, okay? So long, Jody's brother. <laughs> you talk to mom? I'll talk to mom. All right, I'll see you later. She's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Danny didn't believe Jody was gay either, though, and he lived with him for years. I mean, decades, their whole life, so. Are you alright? Yes. Oh, I didn't hurt you, did I? No, I, I, I'm fine, really. Oh, I'm such a klutz. Yes. <laughs> Don't move, I have something for you. Oh. Uh... Would you mind if I brush my teeth first? No, no, you don't understand. Now, wait right there. Breakfast in bed. Oh, I love breakfast in bed. Is it? This is going to be a little tricky, though. Trey has a leg missing. <laughs> I don't think it's going to stand up with a missing leg. Well, that's why I brought this book. Watch this. It looks wonderful. Rice Krispies. <laughs> I love Rice Krispies. Problem is, there's no milk. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I, I don't need any milk. Probably gonna be a little dry. <laughs> I like them that way. Dry. It keeps them crispier. <laughs> they're too dry, we can always pour some water in there. <laughs> oh, they're delicious. <laughs> this book really works. <laughs> No, that, that's all right. I, I don't want any more. I'm full. Uh, I'll be all right in a year or two after I calm down. Uh, why are you so nervous? Hello, because I'm crazy about you, and I don't know if you like me after last night. I loved last night. Couldn't you tell? I never behaved like that in my life. <laughs> like what? 
Well, I was so, uh, so, uh, loud. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. No, no, loud is good. I knew you were there. <laughs> really liked last night. I think you're a wonderful lover. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People have told me I'm an animal. <laughs> you know, at one point you screamed. Yeah, when you got caught in the sheet and knocked the lamp on my head. <laughs> Reasonable. I think I'm in love with you. I think I love you too. So, I think I'm a good lover, huh? <laughs> what about me is good? Well, you're gentle and uh, considerate. That's it? That's what makes me good? Gentle and considerate? That makes a good pediatrician. <laughs> well, that's not all. What else? <laughs> Can't say I'm not what you tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. Do you know what time? No, uh, sorry. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you couldn't call. Oh, Benson, you were worried. No, 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 I wasn't worried. You were, you were worried. No, 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 I wasn't worried. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna break your neck. <laughs> Door Benson. I'm not sure. And he slammed it in his face, so Chester might not be sure now either. You want me to get that? If you don't mind. You don't want me to get that. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you don't. He's home. Chester. 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 I'm home, Jessica. I'm home. And I remember. Chester. Oh, Jessica. Oh, my darling, darling, Jessica. You must have been worried sick. She is now. <laughs> Chester's is home. this the last time Ingrid will bother the Tates and Campbells? And if not, isn't it enough already? Will Jody and Danny be successful in getting Mary and Bert together? And if they are, will Bert be successful in getting her to believe that he hasn't slept with anyone? Now that Jessica and Donahue have found true love, will Chester's resurrection put a kink in their relationship? These questions and many others will be answered on the next episode of Soap. Okay, that was season two, episode 18 of Soap. I'm upset we still didn't get to see the baby. I watched this episode with my phone dying specifically because I wanted to see the baby and we didn't get to see the baby. And I'm not going to be able to watch another episode before my phone dies because we're here at 20%. So, fuck. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow.
to see the baby.